Okay, going to collect the 007 here with just a quick update on my Beretta collection. And I'm trying to get as many as I can on camera here. Uh, it's a little tight and also I'm missing a couple. Uh, so I'm missing a couple of 22 caliber Bobcats and I'm also missing a Storm. But uh, we'll just go with what we have uh, right here in my house right now. So uh, first off, um, we have one of my favorites. Um, this is a Beretta Jetfire. And this is a 25 caliber and uh, this is an oldie but goodie I love this gun I won it on an auction on Gunbroker a couple of years ago and um, it's tiny but it's definitely mighty uh, I love that it has this uh, tip up barrel so there you see the little uh, minuscule 25 caliber which a lot of people say is um, not strong enough for a self-defense gun but like I said there's nine of them in there so um, you tell me I think it's just fine. Uh, the next one on the list here is also another 25 caliber, and uh, this is called a Bobcat. And this one is also, like I said, 25 caliber, also a tip up barrel, uh, also a plus one. But the difference between this one and the first one is this one is double action and single action. That means you can cock the hammer and shoot it single action, or you could pull the trigger and shoot it double action. The jet fire, the one before, is just a single action. So uh, you can see the different trigger right there, and uh, the jet fire is a little smaller also than the Bobcat. And uh, that's that. Next one, also one of my favorites, uh, this one is the Tomcat. Now this one is 32 ACP. And this one also a tip-up barrel. Now this one will go in a little larger in caliber. So like I said, 32 ACP in the tip-up. And this one is 7 plus 1. Fantastic gun. Very basic sights on it like most of these. But these are up close and personal self-defense guns, pocket guns, mouse guns, whatever you want to call them. Also one of my absolute favorites. Uh, next up. Again, she's another favorite. I guess I just can't pick one. Uh, this is the uh, Beretta Cheetah. This is a 380. Absolutely love this gun. I've had it for quite a while. Um, this one can be either a 13 round or 10 plus one. In the state I'm living in now, it is a 10 plus one. Uh, but 380, it's got the open top uh, barrel. Um, halfway decent sights on it, but. Um, Nice little thicker grip than the other little smaller ones. You get a really good purchase on it. Absolutely, positively love this gun. Beretta Cheetah, uh, absolutely gorgeous gun. Next one, love this one too. This is my Beretta Nano. I've had this over five years, I guess. Um, this one is a nine millimeter. This is a six plus one and just, you know, standard regular magazine in that one and uh, has the uh, blade trigger on it like a Glock like trigger has some pretty decent sights on it you got the white dot sights on it very nice gun uh, very shootable easy to carry very slim this was one of the original slim nines now they got you know tons of different ones out there but um, I'm still totally enjoying this one Beretta Nano not that popular I guess since the Glock 43 and a couple other ones came out, but um, still one of my favorites. And then possibly my all-time favorite is the uh, classic uh, Beretta FS92. And this is a 9mm also, and this one is a 10 round or 15 round. You can do 9mm, like I said, on this one, but absolutely gorgeous. You can shoot this one in single action or double action. And uh, nice standard white sights on that, as you can see. Very shootable, open top design, just like the Cheetah. Actually, they're almost like many copies of each other. The Cheetah is almost the same exact gun, except you know a little bit smaller. But uh, great gun. So also, you know, all black, just like that. These are just classic, classic guns. I might be partial to all things Italian, being Italian myself. I like Beretta guns, and uh, like I said, so I'm missing a couple of uh, jet fires, but I think I've made videos on those in the past, I'm not sure, and uh, a storm. Uh, but um, this is the only one, by the way, that's a striker fired, uh, the Nano. So the rest of them are just um, normal triggers. Um, this one is a striker fire trigger on that one. So uh, that's it. So quick uh, update on my Beretta collection. 
and uh, that's it. So uh, if you're looking for a quality gun, Beretta's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, I've never had any problems with any of these guns. I've carried them a lot, shot them a lot. Absolutely love them. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Like always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care.